Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army, I'm Litz and this is Fortnite Save the World and what we've got is a really good combo today with this guy, this is Steel Wall Sid, now I've not used him very much just because he wasn't really a hero that appealed to me, he's really tanky though and he's really good so let's just have a quick look at his stats and why I'm choosing him today with a particular weapon, it's his particular combo that's going to make this interesting. Now it's this one here, this Kinetic Overload, so the cooldown is 0.25 seconds, damage 43,207.1 energy damage, damage Damage type is considered plasma as well as energy. Critical hits with hardware melee weapons trigger a connect overload, dealing an additional damage and knockback to the target. And it's also got on there another buff on there, which is kinetic overdrive. So kinetic overload affects multiple targets within a 0.5 tile radius. So if we're actually up close and personal with hardware weapons, this guy is going to be absolutely great. Now the weapon that I'm going to be using him with is this one here. Now if you look at this, he's actually got a triple crit chance on there. Now this isn't done up. This was one that was donated, but I think it's pretty much how I'm going to do mine up looking at this just because of how well it works. And I'm going to use this weapon purely for when I use Steel Wall Sid. And you'll see why when we actually get into the gameplay. He's only got 10% damage on there, but three lots of crit chance on it. Look at this, 93% damage. And it's not even all the way up yet. So that's going to go even higher. And then it's got the damage, uh, the element fire on there as well 10% weapon damage now I've had to take a walloper with me as well just because if we're fighting fire husks it could be a problem but I'm just gonna go and solo play in game just to show you guys just how effective and how often this actually triggers so stay tuned okay then so we've got a blaster right here look now I'm gonna go and take out this guy first and then let's get on to him but look how often this triggers <laughs> look how fast that was it just takes him down so so fast now let's just go and find something else i've only got one of these so i don't want to like use it up on this little test that we're doing but i do just want to check it out okay now bees are gonna be a problem and it's quite it's not like the fastest of weapons but look at that i mean even the wave clear on there 93 percent. that means nearly every time it's going to be doing it now usually what i might do is actually put the husk buster when we get into a mission into that second slot and then if there's anything like bees or anything that shoots, we can actually use them to take them down. Let's just try one more, one more group, and then we'll jump into an actual mission. Okay, I couldn't have picked a bigger group, but okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So this is it against crowds then. Fortunately, I can't. Take out the enemies to clear the encampment. What you can do with Sid as well, if you get chance, you can actually just pop his base down, and he's gonna do even more damage. Whoa. All right, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough one. I don't even think that's the encampment, is it? Oh, the blaster. Yeah, I've got to get up to him quick. But look, the kinetic beat just hits him every single time. The only problem he's got is closing the gap. You probably could use bull rush to like close gaps and stuff like that. Maybe that's what we should be doing. I've not used his character that much at all, so maybe bull rush is gonna be like a thing. But look at this. So blasters in two seconds, I would say. <laughs> All right, let's see what it's like on a smash. Now, this is a water one, so it's not going to be as great. But hopefully, it's not going to give the smasher much chance to react. Because he's going to be getting knocked back all the time. Damn it. <laughs> oh, all right. We definitely should have moved a little bit earlier then. Hey, I wonder if we can test David Dean's decoy thing on this smasher. So see if it works. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, he's definitely going for that look. Not today, my friend. Not today. <laughs> All right, good. So he's going to take a little bit more than the blasters are taking. But just look, every time it kind of like glows up, that's when he's using the kinetic beats, which is great. Whoa, okay, so we've got a nature smasher then. This is the multiplayer mission that we've got. <laughs> Sure, the bull rush just then, but didn't. Alright, see if we can get him to go for the decoy. There we go. Yeah, he's after it. He's on it. So we can move in then with some big hits now. Oh, nice. <laughs> Alright, well, we've got a bit of help on that one. Alright, but look how quick it takes these out. It's just nuts. Just because of the kinetic beats. It's just crazy. It just wades through everything. And I'm just using the heavy hit on there. Whoa, all right, let's not fall off the edge on this one if we can help it. Okay then, so this is encampment number one. And we're just gonna go wading in. The only problem with him is it's really short range. That's the only issue. 
But he pretty much just wiped everything out just then. I mean, you can just clear droves out in like one swing. Now, we're probably not going to like beat the Reclaimer for damage. But we're going to try and keep up. Okay, so he's number two then. So the trick with him is to actually just keep alive while you're doing it. But I just used the heavy attack. It pretty much wipes any sort of clumped up husks out. It just takes them down pretty much straight away. All you've got to do is really watch his energy and watch his, uh, you know, watch his health. Okay, have we got one over there? Yeah, that's too far to walk. <laughs> Sid, Sid's a rock star. I don't walk that far. Okay, next wave. Anyone ever press reload on melee weapons just out of habit? Okay, here we go then. The reclaim is definitely going to be taking us on this. <laughs> okay, so here we go then. So just wading in. <laughs> As you do. We've got 45 seconds on the uh, health gadget, so we need to be careful on that. Bees are always a problem because it's such short range. Look, now I'm fine. Now I'm feeling the issue. Damn it, I've definitely gone down. <laughs> All right. These things happen. Oh, look, Reclaimer Jess has come to help us. Thanks. All right, the placement on this one's pretty odd. But this could be good. All right, I really need to get out of those bee clouds. I know. <laughs> but it's really tempting to just go wading in. All right, look, we've got some health. We're all right. We're fine. All right, let's go and take out this guy. I guess he's kind of just learning the character a little bit more. See, a lot of these are dead before we even get there. That's <laughs> that's just what reclaimers do. Good. Okay, put the decoy down. All right, so we look, I mean, it even puts a smasher down so fast. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's definitely one of the most satisfying builds you can get. Triple crit chance is just nuts. No one's going to believe it. Blaster. I mean, look at that. Two hits on a blaster. Easy. Okay, so here we go then. I want to do, I want to hit that uh, taker again. Damn it, it's too high up. It's too high up. All right, yeah, you don't want to be caught in the middle of things because that's when it starts not working. Okay, decoy's down. I think the taker's still on me, though. Which could be my downfall. Oh, still alive. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. All right, it was two shots on the taker, but okay. There we go. All right, so we're trying to just keep up with the Reclaimer. Probably won't beat the Reclaimer on damage, but we can definitely go to keep up. But just look at the damage that that puts out. So it's a combat score we're trying to do. All right, let's just put the decoy down. I mean, it's just, it's just a big wave of, like, purple smoke. There's not a lot you can do. But okay, mission successful. But that is just such a nuts weapon. I mean, is that not... I mean, is the any hardware that's much much better than that i mean i'm a massive fan of the walloper as you guys know pulverize is great but that is such a good hammer and obviously the lead sled's also awesome okay wasn't anywhere close 8912 i think that was near so guys that is the socket slugger so it's decent you know it's one of those weapons i think because of how it looks and the name of it and because it's a lot like the fortsville slugger in appearance and things like that it's probably one of those things whereby you know people overlook this but you can put triple crit on it like that so the triple uh, triple crit chance so the triple crit chance on there and it actually works really really well when you're using it with steel wool sid so i definitely go and check that out but guys if you're not part of the latana army already make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think in the comments down below because i would love to know maybe you've got a better weapon that crits even more than that but once i've got this done up and i've done my version of this up then i'll probably re-review this in a few weeks time and see if we can make it even better than it just was so massive thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you on the next video take care now